Brazil faces another big health problem, and that's the Zika virus. A Seattle children's doctor who's studying the virus and the birth defects it causes has found something new. A discovery that makes studying and stopping the virus even more urgent. Jim Dever takes a look. Dr. William Dobbins is a pediatric neurogeneticist at Seattle Children's who both treats and studies microcephaly, a condition where a baby's head size is abnormally small. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. It's a birth defect that has been linked to the Zika virus, a mosquito-borne illness that can be passed from pregnant mother to fetus. The congenital Zika syndrome, that is the effects of Zika on unborn babies, is very, very real. It's very, very severe, and it's not going away. Dr. Dobbins is currently working with doctors in Brazil, studying babies impacted by the spread of Zika. Suddenly it's exploded from not being known to being a common uh, disorder in the space of a year. And they've made some new discoveries that have sobering implications. When I started working on this early last year, we suspected that there would be less severely affected kids and we were recently able to prove it. We report a series of, I think, uh, 13 children who had clear evidence of the congenital Zika syndrome proven by testing, who had normal head size at birth. What this means is that there may be many more babies out there like this one, who look normal, but whose brain scans reveal they have Zika. It's uh, frightening, uh, uh, and they're severe. Um, so no matter how many there are, then the question is, okay, are there even more? The doctors are also finding that as these babies grow, they develop even more problems. And the newest abnormality that is not yet in the literature is water on the brain or hydrocephalus. That's the newest complication of this that the doctors in Brazil were not seeing in the first three to six months, but they are now starting to see now that these babies are getting to be six and 12 months of age. Dr. Dobbins says we're just seeing the beginning of Zika's potentially global reach. More is coming. Um, and so clearly we need to get on top of this as soon as possible. By studying its impacts and sounding the alarm, he hopes to eventually put an end to the ever-growing rash of devastating birth defects caused by this virus. Ultimately, there needs to be a vaccine for young women uh, to prevent them from uh, getting Zika virus. How long will that take? I don't know. Uh, we have the technology but it's not simple technology and it's likely to take several years. The more money uh, that is uh, thrown at the problem, the faster that's going to happen. It's important to point out the kinds of mosquitoes that cause the Zika virus are not present in the Northwest. The CDC reports that as of mid-January, there were 62 confirmed travel-related cases of Zika in Washington state, all acquired from countries where Zika is found, typically South America and Central America. However, Travelers to the southeastern part of the U.S., especially if they're pregnant, should take precautions and check the CDC guidelines.